You can try your luck again if you get on a trampoline. It'll only cost 30 coins. The highest score is 70 coins. Don't forget, I'm holding your extra 22 coins. Let's give it another shot. coins at least. This time you can trade in 75 coins for one frog coin. Ah, that's not enough, bruh. Come back. Freaking noob. you? Mello, it's you. We have heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up below, right? You know about that? See, Mario, the waterways of the world bring news to us here. 
That's why Grandpa knows all the news that's fit to hear. Are you really the Super Mario? Hey, everybody! You'll never guess who's here! He's the real thing, but he doesn't look anything like I thought he would. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if it's only a rumor. Well, well, what's new? Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. Oh no, child. That rainstorm we just had, that was you, wasn't it? Ouch. Watch it up there. You're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? Welcome. So, you're a Mario, yes? I am the Frog Sage. You have come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I've been waiting for you. Yes, old wise people can often give good advice. <laughs> but how rude of me. Let's get more comfortable. Come along and we'll talk. Clear. Full reverse. Tadpoles. You just don't float there. Make yourselves useful. Form a bridge for Mario. Play notes by jumping on the tadpoles. Let's hear your melody. I'm the composer, Todovsky. I'm trying to create my next masterpiece, but I've got composer's block. You want a music lesson from moi? Let's start by reading notes. See the five lines? Between the second and third lines from the top lies Do. Keep going up from Do. And the notes are Re and Mi. Go down from Mo, Do and you'll get Ti, La, So and Fa. You're on your way to composing. Becoming a composer, I want to be as famous as Todovsky. My favorite song? It's the Frog Sage suit, number 18. So la mi re do re do re. Todovsky's fond of it too. That's it! This is the melody I've been looking for. Thank you for the inspiration. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Got the Eldo card! If I ever need help with my compositions again, I'll look for you here. Until then, adieu!
can wait to graduate from music school and start composing. Welcome to the Frogcorn Emporium. You're a first time around, ya? Listen up. The green coins you find periodically are frog coins. Accumulate them and you can buy items at Tadpole Pond. Welcome to the Juice Bar. Are you a card member? Even Todovsky has a membership here. Ah, an Eldo card holder. What would you like? Yes, come into my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Let's see. That's Mivy character that appeared at Bowser's Keep. He's quite formidable, yes? And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? But oh, if only you knew the truth. Peach is no longer here. Or there, should I say. Patience, young one. Let me explain. Here is what happens. You were rescuing Peach from Bowser's Key. After defeating him, just when you were about to free the princess, you heard a loud crash and saw a huge sword split the sky. Whoosh, out of the blue. The shark sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Peach are still lost somewhere out of there. Now. You're worried about the princess, but first you need to take care of Smivy. His underlings are wrecking havoc in our world. Play Morton, whom you defeated all the, at the Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. We found a star in the Mushroom Kingdom castle. Do you know why it was there? A star, huh? Most interesting. This may sound illogical, but I believe shooting stars can grant wishes. And now, more than ever, I believe they will play a vital role in a fight against Smitty. Was that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? Oh god, no please. It's quite a situation we have on our hands, isn't it? Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Clay Morton was only the first of many, Mario. Some of them will make Bowser seem nice. My lord, you speak as if these things do not concern you. You will accompany Mario on this adventure too. Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me! Hello, my boy. I've kept this from you until now. But you're... not a tadpole at all. Say what? 
I was sitting here on a rainy day, enjoying a snack of crickets. When I happened to see a basket floating down from the falls. I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring right back at me. The name Mallow was written on his belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle, bundle of puff and took him into race as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic and I knew he was more than a piece of fluff. I thought, surely this child must be from some far off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm not a tadpole? <laughs> Hello, now's not the time to cry. Go with Mario on this adventure and find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there somewhere. Psst, psst, Mario. The boy's magic is sure to come in handy on your adventure. You'll take him along, yes? Grandpa! I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure of Mario and find my real family. Then this is settled. You must embark on your adventure immediately. First, go to Rose Town, where they need your help. Sounds, Lauter, Murph, Rivalry, Donuts, Reading, Dolphins, relax. A few notes on my latest tune. <laughs> it will be quiet around here with Mellow gone. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. How about some crickets? <laughs> The yellow tiles automatically carry you when you hop on them. You can jump off of a tile when it's blue. Thank you. 
right, people, form ranks. Jagger, head of the shield warriors. Wizard Koopa, master of the hooded sorcerers. And last but not least, Goomhilde, grand dame of the groundling Goombas. <laughs> This is our finest moment. Bowser's minions are invincible. We shall be victorious. <laughs> the bridge is down, but we'll find a way to get back in. Move out on the double. Bowser and his minions must be on their way to Bowser's keep. Come on, Rouse Town is just ahead. come flying out of the forest and when you're hit you can't move see look i can't move a muscle now i know how a scarecrow feels oh this is not good now i can't go to the forest to chop up any wood Since the day a shooting star fell into the forest, arrows have been showering our town. Uh, I can't move. Mario, help! <laughs> Hey, Mario, I'll be taking care of Princess Peach now. Super jump attack! Oh, ha, ha. You think you can hurt me with your childish pranks? Attention, Peach, you're coming with me. Zip your lip. Somebody, please help me! Ah! Oh my gosh! It's... it's... M M Mom! Look! We have a guest! Yes, dear. I hear you. Hello there. What? Aren't you Mario? For real? Well, you have to head. And a funky stash. Are you really Mario? How do I know it's you? You might just be pulling my leg. Show me. Prove it. All right. Hey, Mario. Want to play with me? I'm playing Save the World. Now, guys. Mario might be a little tired, dear. Ah, oh, come on, Mom. You never play with me. It's no fun playing alone. Oh dear, Mario. I hate to ask, but could you play with gas for a little? Yes, Mario just bought the farm, so um, you can be Bowser. I'll be G now, okay? Ready? Let's play from where I left off. <laughs> oh, scary, but just watch me. Better watch out, Bowser, cause Gino's gonna blow you away. Take this. <laughs> Your turn, Bowser. Oh, uh, oh no. If he keeps this up, I'm finished. All right, you asked for it. The super duper custom patented one and only shooting star shot. Oops. Uh, Oh, 
I think I miss. Oh dear. Oh my. Mario. Are you all right? 